All right. So when you work in open source, something that often comes up is how do you get visibility into your open source project? You want to be able to answer questions such as what is the average number of pull requests that you get every week? Who are your most active contributors? So the idea I had is to simply develop a, a, a small tool that would collect all GitHub data, everything that comes from webhooks and from the API, feed this into uh, Elasticsearch, and use Kibana to draw my dashboards. Simple enough, except uh, GitHub data is not something that you want to store as it is. Super big, super verbose, uh, imperfect in many ways. So really, you're going to want to transform it before you store it. So now the question is, um, you, want to, you want to go from this big payload on the left to this nice and concise JSON on the right. And what's an elegant way in Go to express this kind of data transformation? And furthermore, what's, what's a way to express this in a way that is customizable by the user of the tool in such a way that people can uh, modify and customize to fit their exact data model and their, their perfect need? So this is when I thought about text template. Um, for those not familiar with this package, this is text template 101. It really allows you to generate some textual output by applying a template to arbitrary object. And really, this is, this is half of the solution. It gives you a perfect syntax to navigate into object hierarchy. But in my case, I don't really want to generate text. What I want is to transform from one data to another. And especially, I want to preserve the original type information. So what if? What if we fork text template? What if, instead of stringifying the result of the evaluation, you return it as the empty interface? And what if we use the template syntax as a DSL for data transformation and stick all this into a TOML configuration so that people can customize it? So let's look at, let's look at the result. What you have on the left is the definition of a transformation in a TOML configuration. And what you have on the right is the result of applying this transformation to a GitHub payload. So really, the definition is super easy to read. Um, each line means that in the output, I want the key to be present as an attribute, and I want its value to be the result of applying the template snippet to the GitHub payload. So it's very small to, to write, and you get all the power of text template and all the expressiveness of templates. For example, you can do simple mappings. So you can say things like, I want uh, my output to contain a number attribute, and I want this number to be taken from the number of the source, as simple as that. Notice that on the right, you, what you get is an integer, not a string. You can do tests. So for example, in a GitHub pull request, you get a milestone nested object. So you can write things like, if I got a milestone nested object, give me the title. You can do loops. For example, for labels, you can say, range on all labels and give me their names. And that's it. And what you get on the right is, in the result, is an array of strings. And last but not least, you can get user-defined functions. So for example, in my case, I have a function called user data uh, to which I can give a GitHub login and returns a structure with enriched uh, information, information I know of but GitHub doesn't, about who is the employer of this person and uh, is your maintainer of the project. So putting it all together, um, take GitHub data, configure transformation in a TOML configuration file, feed all this into this transformation engine, get some nice and pretty JSON in the output, give it to Elasticsearch, fire up Kibana, build your perfect open source dashboard, and profit. This is all open source. It's on my GitHub account. Please check it out.